Listen, before our carpool gets here, I have something I want to say. Fine. Pretend I'm just a voice in your head. You know, the one that tells you when you're about to screw up. Because that's what you're doing. If you blow off this trip, your dad will be hurt. Mariah will cry and my mom will flip out. Go back to being a jerk Saturday night. Do the right thing Saturday afternoon. Why won't he respond to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip from Ties That Bind. And joining us is the man in that clip, Mitchell Cummins. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Is yeah. it hard to watch yourself? Or? It very much is, <laughs> yeah? yes. Yeah. Yes, I don't like it. No? Do no. You, will you do it alone? Or like, is there any way? Because obviously it's important to watch and kind mm -hmm. of learn well, from it. It's not that I, I don't want other people seeing me. It's yeah. that I don't want to see myself on, okay. on the screen. Well, you don't have to worry about that. You're doing very well. Yeah. Um, Thank you. You've been auditioning and, and acting since you were eight, right? That is correct, yes. That is so half my life. life. Wow. Half your Life. Incredible. And now wow. you're doing two shows. That is correct. We just saw Ties That Bind. Yeah. Uh, and you've also got a sort of a more of a period piece, When yes. Calls the Heart. When Calls the Heart. That is correct. Wow. It's going into season three. Nice one. So Super cool. So you know what got me really excited? Of course, you um, you do a great job on the show and you're working with Thank Lori you. Loughlin, yeah. Aunt Becky from Full House, Jack right. Wagner from Melrose <laughs> Place. That was a little before your time. Did you know sort of what they had done in their careers or were they kind of... I, I, knew, I knew what Lori had done in her career. Yeah. I knew that she was from Full House, I right. knew that. Right. Um, but they were just great people, and that's what I loved about them, was that I didn't, I didn't kind of get that, you know, like, starstruck kind of thing, because I didn't, I didn't know they were celebrities until after yes. I had looked them up, and then yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that can kind of be helpful, right? Because if you're a huge fan, and you're a little intimidated, it can be exactly. overwhelming, but exactly. yeah, if you're like, I don't know who you are, let's just, mm -hmm. let's just work together. Exactly. Let's have some fun. Right. Now, speaking of big names, um, I asked you about that ring because I thought correct. it was really cool. Who gave That's that to correct. you? Daniel Radcliffe actually gave that to me. Wow. Harry and, Potter himself. Yeah, and there's a <laughs> funny story behind that. He, um, I told him I liked his ring and he, and he wanted to give it to me. And I said, well, I can't accept that. Yeah. And he said, well, when I was on Harry Potter, people always gave me things. And, and I wouldn't feel right without giving my younger version something because... I need to give back, right? Because people always gave me things, so then I accepted yeah. it. So you, yeah, so we want to tell people, you played a younger version of Daniel in a film. That is correct. So is he kind of someone that you looked up to, a bit of a mentor? Definitely, nice. definitely. He's very, very down to earth, and he's always looking out for, the, for everybody, mm -hmm. wow. really. He's always looking out for everybody. He puts people in front of himself. Right, which, oh, which is great. Is, and great for you to learn, you know, up and coming exactly, actor. Exactly, yeah. Um, you've got a big following on social media. You're obviously doing very well. How do you maintain that balance of being a, a normal 16-year-old kid and, you know, an actor? You know, I just try and stay humble, and I don't, I don't try to mention that I'm an actor because then, a, it takes a long time to explain to people. Right. And and b, people don't believe you. Okay. So I just kind of stay away from that. And when I first meet people, I just say I'm I'm Mitchell and. Right. I, mm -hmm. It's when they ask me what I do that I that I kind of right. say it, and I'm like, fine, okay. Yeah, and then they're like, but, wait, I know where I know you from. Exactly, yeah. So I love that you've got these big fans for When Calls the Heart that right. um, uh, they call themselves Hardies. That is correct. Tell me <laughs> about them. Do you hear from them on social media? How does I it work? I hear from them all the time, and I love hearing from them. They yeah. just, ah, uh, they make my day sometimes. Yeah. They ask questions that are, like, amazing that I wouldn't have even thought of. Like, I don't know, who made the plank? And I'm like... That's a good question. I have no idea, but I should find that out. Yeah. I just picked it up. And, uh, yeah, I just picked it up. and uh, So yeah, they, they're amazing. And then they moved from When Calls the Heart and to Ties That Bind at the same time. They did, hey? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And they call themselves the Tie Hards. Tie Hards. That's clever. Yeah, that is very clever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have yeah. thought of that myself. Yeah. I wish I would have, though. Yeah. It was actually a hardy that thought of it. So, okay, cool. Of course, yeah. yeah. And you're based in White Rock and just able to work kind of as things correct. come up. Yes. Okay. Do you have a favorite type of uh, role that you play or something that you really would like to pursue? I would really actually, and I don't feel right saying this, but I'd actually kind of like to play a psycho. Okay. Oh. Like, uh, have you ever seen the movie Black Mass? Like Johnny Depp's character in Black Mass. I don't think I have, no. Uh, Is it scary? This is a new movie. No, it's not scary. Okay, okay. maybe I can do but that But it's based on a true story. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to play that. Put it out there. It's out there. Yeah. Wants yeah. to play a psycho, uh, you know. <laughs> That's very difficult, so I like it. I like the fact yeah. that you're ambitious, you're only 16, and I bet you this is gonna happen for you. Oh, I yeah. hope so, I hope so. I think so, I could probably give you some tips too. Yeah. I've played a psycho. Anyway, I won't go to that, it's my personal life, we don't wanna get too deep into it. But well, thanks, yeah, thanks for being here. And, thanks for uh, having me, yeah. Showing off your ring. and Oh, uh, anytime. Good luck with everything. Yeah, Thank we'll you. be following you. Just okay. call us Hardies. Yeah, we'll be following you, and you can follow uh, Mitchell on Twitter. Stick around, we'll be right back after the break.